I'm back. All right, well, this is uh, the second day of me working on this uh, Angels of Redemption army. And um, I was struggling, um, deciding on a couple of different things to add to this dreadnought. So um, I finally, um, I think I'm done with it. Uh, maybe some minor details on the go. But um, I think I like the results so far. So what I have now is um, I actually have uh, these transfers that you can see right here with script and they're really detailed so I really like that and those transfers came from um, I want to say they came from armor cast um, but I had them for many years so I can't quite remember but I think they're from armor cast so I got those transfers they were added so I added multiple areas I have another transfer right here Um, I hand painted the the sign of the Angels of Redemption, but it looks a little crooked um, because of the area that is um, right here is lifted actually. So I was trying to go over that, and so it looks kind of weird, I think. But I think it works. I mean, you think you could tell as their symbol. All right. Um, so I did that. I added a couple of different transfers here and there. Tiny little skull right there with the uh, wings. So I finished the base, painted the purity seal. Uh, that's the number of kills he has on vehicles, two so far. And hopefully I can keep adding more right there later on if I want to actually keep history on this guy destroying vehicles. Um, and I gave it a name, Jael. I looked up uh, names of angels online, and I have a list of about 100 different names, so I'm planning to um, name every one of my guys, um, have their name put somewhere on their helmets or pads or just somewhere. Anyway, so this is the top of the um, dreadnought. I um, have some more other uh, transfers right there, perch, and then some small script underneath. This one actually seems like a whole paragraph with the initial capitalized letter in red, so that's really nice. And then uh, the base, if you could see that, I put some bolter shells coming from the strong bolter right there. So I put five shells right there at the bottom. Need some barbed wire on the base. I want it to look, uh, you know, like a destroyed city or just concrete. I think that's just gonna be my my base, uh, my bases for my guys. So, anyways, um, I'm trying to get back into painting. Um, not super happy with the results, but uh, considering that I haven't painted so long and I'm just kind of getting back into it, I think I did okay. Um, I don't think it's as clean as I would want it to look, but uh, at the same time, I wanted it to look dirty and and um, and old. So if I'm making any sense, I'm trying to basically have a clean, nice paint job as far as the um, the technique on the paint job, but as far as the results on the model, I want them to look old and dirty. So I hope I'm making any sense on that. But anyways, that's probably the end result with this. I'm probably just gonna um, add, as I mentioned before, I like to have some cinematic effects coming out of the melt again. So put something there to show the melt firing. I didn't want to do the storm bolter because I do have cinematic effects for the storm bolter, but um, I think it's it's kind of hidden underneath and you won't see it. So um, the melt I like to do more than the storm bolter and uh, if anyone knows what I'm talking about uh, let me show you something really small it's uh, the cinematic effects from armor cast that I'm talking about are something like it's something like this I hope this comes up on camera let's see if I could so uh, this one's uh, maybe a little too wide but you could buy this from armor cast and then 
glue them to the storm bolter. Let's see if I can kind of just keep it in place. All right, there you go. So I mean, that's not exactly the one that you will use for the storm bolter, but this one's the one that I had on hand right now. So um, it will look like it's firing, and that's that piece is not finished, so it looks too wide right now. But uh, something like that, basically. Let it focus. There you go. So anyways, I want to get the melt the cinematic effect and then put it there. So, anyways, I just want to update you guys on my second day. I want to record my progress to this army. I'm going to try to do a video per day, but I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it, actually. I know for a fact already I can do that. But I'm going to try to paint at least one, once a day for at least one hour if I can. Um, so now that that one's done, I started working on this other guy, and uh, the reason why I started this guy is just because I had him for so many years that I just felt like it was his time to start getting some paint on him. So this is a tech marine. So right now he really looks really dirty. Now you know, as I mentioned before, I want my army to look dirty and old and stuff like that. So. Um, a little too bright right now because of the washes but once I put the matte finish and he's done he won't look that bright that shiny so um, obviously he's all red metal for his bionic arm and his axe and the servo arm and then um, I just did let me see if it focus right there there you go I did half and half on his shoulder pad with the angels of redemption wing so um, on him I actually might do the um, cinematic effect on him. I think he will look how cool firing from his storm bolter. I mean, from his uh, bolt pistol. So I mean, this this guy's still working on. As you can see, the base hasn't even done, been uh, completely finished. Um, so gonna do the optic eye or the bionic eye on his uh, head. I'm not crazy about the face either. Um, that's my hardest uh, skin tones is my hardest one of my challenges. I've never been good with skin tones. Um, not that I'm really good with anything, but skin tones is what gives me the most trouble, I think. But um, yeah, overall, I think I like how dark he looks and mechanic and dirty. Um, he actually looks maybe a little too dark, so I think I need to. Get some more uh, bright colors in there. So um, this is my second model, and um, I haven't really got many views or comments on my stuff. But um, you know, hopefully I'll get to get more views and comments and uh, tips. If I could get tips on anything you guys want to comment on and give me ideas, uh, I'll be greatly appreciated. So, all right. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it.